Hey everybody and welcome to a super special edition of Fixin' Shit. Today we're working on the iPhone 7 Plus and we're just going to tear this baby down for your viewing pleasure. As far as we know, this will be the first English version of a teardown of the iPhone 7 Plus. Couple new things on the 7 Plus. First of all, you probably noticed the double camera, the super sick ass jet black finish, and because that's on both sides. And of course, sorry about that, I'm trying to see. It's waterproof. So the thing that we're looking at right now is how hard this is actually going to be to take apart. It's going to be pretty tough. They used a lot of adhesive to make sure that it is waterproof. So first, same thing, we have two safety screws. They're just pentalobe safety screws on either side of the lightning charger port. The lightning charger port replaced the headphone jack on this model, so that's a pretty big upgrade. And we're also looking forward to getting this grill torn apart so that we can take a look at the new speaker setup, two speakers. So, as you can see, we definitely took our advice from the last video where we were taking apart the 6S. Now, if you remember the analogy or the little fun rhyme to remember is finger your nails, excuse me, cut your fingernails before you finger your friends. Don't cut them before you fix your phone. It's probably most important on this one to not cut them. As you can see, I'm just going to go around the edge here. It's probably going to take a while. So if there's anything that you needed to do or you need to use the restroom, now's the time. I'm sure this can take me five to ten minutes. Okay, actually that wasn't that bad. So all we're doing is cutting the adhesive and the adhesive is all the way around this sucker. I'm not really sure what we're going to find underneath it. So I would say be careful to pull it too far apart and just try to do it slowly. Okay. Skipping ahead, here we go. Little wiggle room. This one's a lot tougher than the iPhone 6S Plus. It's also a lot better looking. Okay, hang on a sec. Can you hear me? Yeah. Alright, now we got this sucker started. We got her cracking. Speaking of crack, you'll have to sell a lot of crack to buy one of these. These actually retail for 900 and some dollars base. But the base model is 32 gigs, which is pretty good, I guess. I mean, that's what we got. We tried to cheap out. Once you do the teardown, pretty sure you're going to void your warranty and ruin your life. Now we have this open. You can see the battery is the same as always. Definitely a different heat shield on top, the LCD. And if you'll notice, look at the plugins. Uh, before they went from the top of the screen down on this time, they're on the left side of the screen, which is pretty nice. Now, I'm taking off the heat shields first, just to kind of get a look what's underneath it. And I'm guessing where all the flex cables connect into the logic board, that we're going to find those same Lego-like connectors such a difference open it sideways so you're definitely gonna have to watch out for that it's a pretty good thing we didn't cut our nails this time and bam our first one comes off so this one just is to the battery and also it looks like our home button assembly so you can see up in the corner here we have our vibrator piece and our new speaker. So the home button is still attached to the screen and LCD, but let's get off this last heat shield. There's a lot of screwing and I gotta tell you we're pretty nervous. It's like, have you ever screwed someone and you didn't wear a condom and you just spend the next several weeks worried about it. The strange thing is, before you're taking apart the iPhone 7, we ordered it weeks ago. So it's the opposite. We've been worried about screwing her, and now we're finally getting the opportunity and just hoping we don't get the AIDS. Well, we're looking for AIDS as in donors that would like to donate money to our channel, but not AIDS like sexually transmitted diseases. Enough about Magic Johnson. 
we are very excited about this. So as you can see, the connections are a little different. And the first thing that we do have to do though, whenever we're gonna do anything, is we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. So I've gotta kind of search around here. This is all new. Apple did a lot of nice work here. This thing is a lot tighter than the other ones were packed. And you even notice the bezel around the frame is more molded. It looks cleaner, has more adhesive. It's the i67, so you know it's not quite as good as Samsung, but almost there in terms of waterproofing. And you can see the actual connections seat better, kind of, because they're on the side. So I'm not really sure why they did this, whether it makes it more durable or maybe just positioning for the antenna. Um, Okay, so the battery is actually still a 3,000 milliamp. Uh, it's rated to give you 12 hours of LTE surfing, which is a lot. So just disconnect the flex cable, same as always, Lego light connection. And boom, that's it. So now that our battery is disconnected, we want to take a look at what we think is, quite frankly, the most impressive and innovative feature that the iPhone 7 did this year. And that would be the camera. But before we do that, let's uh, shoot, let's take out the SIM card tray. Just that way we get it out of the way. So same tool, still on the side. Place your pole in the hole and watch it pop out. All right, so back to the camera, the most exciting feature. So we're just taking off the back plate right now and then kinda everything's kinda worked in there pretty tightly on the first one because of the adhesive, but here we go. We just kind of work off that back plate and bam. So you can see the camera is actually wider in the 7 Plus. They had to make a little more room for it. And you want to make sure you get all the bolts around the housing to get the camera off. Bear with us here. It's actually our first time taking apart a phone ever. Okay, and there it is from the back. See how it's just snit snugly in there? So there's two cameras, and the reason that there's two is it makes it a little closer to a DSLR by allowing one to be telescopic. So one camera shoots far, the other one shoots close up, so micro macro. Um, we're going to do some camera tests on this, so please subscribe to the channel, and you'll get to see the actual camera test. But there it is, and that is pretty badass. That's one of the main upgrades Apple's made in the last three series of phones. I mean, really, image stabilization was their big leap forward on the 6S, but this is pretty cool. So that's the camera. Now we're just taking out the rest of the housing here. We want to see what else is in the phone. Okay, next we're just going to remove the ringer volume flex and then we're just going to do the antenna removal after that now the cool thing is if you buy this at the apple in west hollywood you actually get a mantenna and a stronger vibrator assembly i'm assuming that's the antenna Look, normally we'd say tell your friends. Don't tell your friends about this. We're trying to return this. Another cool thing, though, while I'm doing this is there's actually, a, with the dual lens camera, now you have four individual LEDs that make the flash, so the flash is much brighter. Two of them are warm and two of them are cool. So whether you need hot pictures or cool pictures, the iPhone 7 delivers. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start taking off the logic board. The logic board, in case you don't know, is the brains of the operation. That's probably why it's black and not blonde in color. 
So we notice that all our connections look like they are disconnected. Just double check in here. Thank God for the Coke nail. Okay, so a lot of this just has a ton of adhesive on it. Okay, so I'm really, I'm just going to start, start taking out screws. There's 15 new screws in here I had no idea existed before from the older models, but as you can see, this looks nothing like an older iPhone. Okay, so it's just screws on screws on screws. I'm just going to start taking little tids and the bits off. I'm not sure if these are the proper names, but we'll call this the plastic doomahickey. And off she comes. All right. Another screw under there. Boom, she's off. One more. Basically, we're just trying to remove screws that hold the board to the frame right now. Um, this is closer to a Samsung project here than it is an Apple at this point. As you can see, it just kind of pulls and pops up with my finger like a lot of things these days. And you just wiggle it out. The important thing is to make sure that everything's unscrewed, not attached, and that you're not yanking or jerking too hard. Okay, we missed a lot of screws, so there's one more. All right, let's try this again. And there we go. The logic board lifts right up out. We just cover the old serial number with our finger. And okay, we're gonna head down now. As you can see, this is the new Taptic engine, and the first thing that you might notice is that there's no more headphone jack. A lot of people talked about it, especially the guy that replaced Steve Jobs. It looks like he ate Steve Jobs. He gave a big speech about courage and courage under fire and the courage to take out the headphone jack. So it's a big thing. People died for this, and I think we need to take it seriously. But uh, the Taptic engine, if you look at this, we haven't got to do any speed test yet. Well, not speed test like speed on the iPhone. We're not talking about speed. We've done speed tests before. The Taptic engine in this model is damn near double the size of the 6S Plus. And a lot of this has to do with it not really clicking. So you have more sensitivity on the home button itself but when you click it, it gives the sense that you're clicking. You're actually not. This just helps it stay more waterproof. It's a pressure sensitive home button. And just trying to dig out the rest of this. There's a lot of adhesive on this, but man, look at the size of this Taptic engine. Holy crap, you talk about a nerd boner. Wow. That's like finding. Pikachu in your best friend's sister's bedroom. He's a year older than you. It's a freaking jackpot. Might as well be in her underwear drawer. So let's just cover this up because the last thing we do want to do is we want to go ahead and pull this battery out for you. So just like before, you just pick the adhesive out from underneath it. And it's best to get it all at one time. So just carefully, carefully keep pulling the end. Deeper, faster, harder, softer. However it takes, just keep it in one place. And this is where it's not good to have nails, but bam, out it comes. Okay, don't eat this. Don't eat this. We actually used to eat those, and turns out two people died here in the office. So one more, and it's the same. You just peel down the adhesive from the uh, battery itself. It's kind of folded over. And uh, just pick this one out for you. 
Oh my gosh. It's like when you used to spit on your little sister's face or... You know what? I'm actually just going to leave your little sister out of it. And just continue pulling that out. You know, the motherboard itself, we didn't really talk about it too much, but it's a completely different board, mainly because we went to the A10 processor. So it's supposed to be a lot faster. Um, if you want, subscribe to the channel. We're going to do a whole bunch of speed tests. And out comes the battery very easily. Underneath, pretty neat. It's actually contoured, so I don't know if that's more to just keep that machine-milled look or even possibly so everything else fits even more firmly inside of there. It could have something to do with the waterproofing. I uh, could combat battery heat. We know Nate, Note 7 had those horrible incidences. It's not even a word, but it did have horrible incidences where people were getting burnt. I heard one gentleman even conveniently burnt his Jeep. Uh, sounds more like insurance money to me, but you know, there's more than one way to skin a pig, as they say. And that's basically it. The home button is a lot smaller, a lot more compact. It's actually part of the glass, pretty much. You can see the shield behind it. We'll take that off in a different video. And, I mean, that's it. We got the tactic engine there. The motherboard and the heat shield and the tactic engine. I got a pair of tweezers sitting there. I got some long fingernails. Uh, here comes the battery. Like I said, 12-hour battery life. And uh, I'll bet it's not waterproof anymore. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to us. If you don't like it, don't subscribe to us. We'll never know. All right? Enjoy, and make sure you stay tuned for more iPhone 7 destruction.